is something you need. If you come into the gym now and leave with an analytical number. drill of the 250 here and we designed this drill primarily to get your footwork and your touch going but not only that it's an excellent drill to be able to actually evaluate uh, you know you know a little bit of toughness and, and quickness all, all in one drill here and it's a great way to start so you've got uh, quick hands quick feet obviously the old school mic mic and drill and uh, you know all of our workouts start with fundamentals all of our tests start with fundamentals and uh, I love this drill. You know, we used to do this in Italy uh, in the first league, playing over there before every practice. And it's, it's homework basketball, it's the basics, and it makes a huge difference. So you can see Kevin here, one, two. We want that one, two. We want that smooth footwork. And uh, that footwork leads into the other drills later, leads into our shooting, leads into our ball handling. So uh, we love this drill. You know, you guys should be getting over 35 makes. And you want to see how uh, quick his hands are and how tough he is mentally. You can see he's dropping the ball a little bit right now. We want to keep it up. But there he goes, keeping it back up again. So he's, uh, he's quick. He's quick off the ground. He's got good hands. He hasn't missed. It's up and through. In this drill, you really want to go uh, glass to mesh. Glass to mesh. No rim. Nice and quick. And he's got a good score there. A uh, good way to start off the test. Not too tired yet, but, uh, but a good way to start the test. Okay, you're starting back to the basket. You touch the block with your ball. Okay, hard dribble to the middle. So I'm demonstrating here the uh, the next drills. We call this power post ups, and this one here is a little bit more conditioning now, and we put a little bit more toughness into this one. It's similar to the uh, Mikan as far as the, uh, the end result, finishing around the basket with the touch. But uh, you're going to start now you know, in a power position, in a squat position. So now we're incorporating a lot more legs, a lot more conditioning. And again, we still have the gloves on because everything we do around the rim, we want to make it difficult. So when you get in a game and you're down in the red zone, it's easy. So you're, you're touching the low block, your hard power step to the middle, and a quick drop step, quick reverse pivot, simulating a spin move, simulating a counter move back to the, uh, back to the rim. Excellent drill, one of our favorites. Great for guards and even better for bigs. And here you got Kevin uh, working hard, and he's quick into the middle of the lane. He's a little guard, and this is this is awesome for him. Uh, when he gets cut off, work on his spin, and then again he's finishing around the rim. Quick hands, got the gloves on, making it tough. Real good drill. Cut. Okay, this one here's ball handling. Now we're gonna get you a little bit more conditioning, a little bit more movement here. So here we go, we got uh, one of A-game's famous drills, two up, two back. Uh, Coach Julius, Stu Julius, the, uh, the old head of, uh, of A-game, has had us, uh, us guys doing this for a long, long time. And it's, it's excellent for your handle, and it's an incredible conditioning drill. So two up, two back. It's a simulated step back, dribble retreat, separation move, whatever you want to call it. Three trips, baseline to half, three times, and, we're, and we do three sets. So it's tough with the gloves, making it difficult, and uh, separation move, too hard back, too hard up, and cross. In between, in between we got defensive footwork. So the test here, the part of the 250 test here is, is your defensive footwork. How many line touches can you get 
in 30 seconds in between the two up, two back. So we don't record two up, two back score. We use that for conditioning. We use that for uh, skill work. And you can see me going here from elbow to elbow back down to the baseline. We count the lateral touches in this drill. So we got Kevin here ready for the, uh, the defensive footwork, the, the lateral test here that we've incorporated in between the uh, two up, two back. Six, so how quickly can he get to elbow to elbow here and how efficiently can he do that while he's a little bit tired working his, uh, working his footwork and his lateral quickness. You gotta stay low here, you gotta stay tough. He's coming out of the stance a little bit and he's crossing his feet. So Kevin's losing a little bit of his efficiency. And we'll definitely talk to him about that. And that's part of, uh, that's part of the 250 test is you know, analyzing your, your, your explosiveness, analyzing your footwork when you're a little bit tired. And that's what, uh, that's what we're all about. Here. 20 seconds, right hand layups, 20 seconds down the middle. So here we have the, uh, the famous blast series. Uh, Stu Julius uh, put this together many years ago. Uh, to be able to quantify quickness and endurance, okay? So you're going to catch the ball at the elbow. You're going to start in a standstill. And we start in a standstill because we want to work that first step explosion. And uh, there's nothing special to this drill. It just requires toughness and, and in muscular endurance. So you've got 20 seconds from the right elbow, blasting hard to the rim, 20 seconds down the middle, and then another 20 seconds from the other elbow. We don't count the score of the blast layups. We do it for toughness and endurance. You want to go as hard as you can. You want to get that thing up over the front of the rim. Really work your touch. You can see here guys are missing because they're a little bit tired now. You want to get that first step and explode. And uh, it's the first section to this part of the test here. I think it's an invaluable drill also just in terms of point guards learning to square up and make that first move. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of point guards that don't practice that and really just squaring your shoulder to the target and really making yourself a triple threat. Being able to shoot pass go to the 10, whatever you need to do, and everything basically starts on squaring up and being explosive. So right off the blast series here, you've got, you've got uh, catch and shoot jumpers. Okay, you've got 30 seconds from the baseline, 30 seconds from the wing, 30 seconds from the top, 30 seconds from the other wing, and 30 seconds from the other baseline. Now we're keeping score here of made baskets here, made jump shots. So now we're into fatigue mode, we're into toughness training here, and what we call fatigue scoring and fatigue shooting. You gotta be able to make shots, you gotta be able to stay low after uh, a drill like the blast series. And we don't ever just catch and shoot, everything is off the move, everything is off of uh, a different type of pass or a different type of uh, toss out to yourself, creating a game-like atmosphere, and you wanna be able to be tough. You want an inside foot, you wanna be able to get up there into your shot and keep your shot the same while you're tired, and uh, this is a very difficult drill. Now, a very good score here that we look for is, uh, is 20 makes here. So you've got four and a half minutes of shooting the basketball here, 30 seconds apiece from five spots, and 20 makes should be about four to five makes per spot. And uh, you gotta chase your rebound down. There's no, uh, there's no laziness at all in this drill. And again, the 250 test doesn't lie. If you're scoring 10 or 12 shots in this drill, you're not working hard. You're just not chasing the ball down enough and you're just not making enough shots. For a guy like Kevin, a guy who's going to be playing, coming off a lot of ball screens at the next level, uh, being able to shoot in movement and retire is something that's going to be invaluable for him. So this is a great drill for Kevin. So this is what separates AK Moots from, all, from everything else. This is what separates a real workout from an average workout. Okay? We train at a super high level and we work our, our skills under stress and under fatigue. Because if you can keep your form and keep your technique when you're exhausted, in the game, when your girlfriend's in the stands, when your parents are there, the place is full, when the jumbotron is on, the lights are on, it's easy. Okay, we train hard, very hard, so the game is easy. Okay, you've got one minute worth of sprints, sideline to sideline. Okay, one minute. Okay, I want to see how many touches, one, two, three, four, you can get with the ball in your hand in a minute, as we're halfway through the workout and we're fairly fatigued right now. Okay? Ready? Go! But here we have uh, what I call the separate. Okay, you've got sideline to sideline with a ball for a minute. Now we've been uh, we've been working out here hard for about 30 minutes. We've been quantifying timing and charting every single drill. Now here we are to uh, three quarters of the way through the workout here, and uh, this is what we call the separator here because this separates the, uh, the 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 elite players, the next level players from the average guys. Okay. 
you've got 60 seconds of sideline to sideline. How many touches can you get? And we got this, uh, we've got two sets of this here. Okay, so this is where the men come out. This is where the guys with the toughness come out. And the real guys, the real players, the real A-game guys that we work with here, they get a better score on their, uh, on their second set. So you've got to be tough, you've got to be quick, you've got to be low, and you've got to be able to fight through a little bit of pain and, uh, and, a, and a fair amount of fatigue. So you've got to get from spot to spot, and now that we're exhausted, this is where we see who has technique when they're tired. Because this drill will probably require footwork, timing, and technique. So we got uh, three spot shooting here. Okay, so the last two drills of the 250 test are basically uh, basically shooting drills, workout type drills, where you're you're now fatigued and you've really got to make shots. Okay, this is where shot makers and big time players, you know, excel in uh, this part of the workout. And this is where you can gain some great some great points and, uh, and really up your score because now uh, the last two drills. You're, you're, you're combining all of our conditioning, all of our footwork, all of our toughness into two drills here. So three spot shooting, you start at the top, you got a catch and shoot at the top, you, your first set is to the right, then your next set is all the way around to the left. So now we've created some movement into your shot, some uh, game-like footwork, some game-like movement into your catch and shoot. We've got four sets, okay? You've got two sets of mid-range, and then two sets of threes. The first set is to the right, the second set is to the left. 30 seconds per set, and uh, again, you know, a good score here would be five or six makes per set. But again, these guys are tired. We're 75% uh, of the way through the workout here, and uh, shot makers really come to play, really come out in this drill. And this is a great way to work on your shot because now we're, we're, we're talking about toughness, we're talking about concentration, we're talking about maintaining technique when you're tired. And that is the motto to A-game hoops and uh, why we make such a great partnership with flagrant fouls. You can see these guys who are skilled throughout the course of the year, but how tough are they? And uh, how skilled are they when, they, uh, when they're fatigued? Right. Okay, you got 10 from the wing, 10 from the, uh, 10 from the baseline, 10 from the wing, 10 from the top, wing, baseline. Okay, so the first one is mid-range. Okay, so he starts under the bucket like you would any regular cut. He's coming off his inside foot, turn, catch, shoot. He's going to get his own rebound, right? Because we want to condition, we want to move. So now we got a three. Okay, so he starts his cut under there, catch and shoot three. Okay, I'll help out with the rebound a little bit. Okay, he starts back under the basket. Okay, he starts back under the basket. Here we go. Boom. Okay. okay, so here we go. We got the, uh, the last drill of the 250 here. Okay, this is the, uh, the, again, this is one of these drills that separates the elite players from the average guys here. How many shots can you make? How many catch and shoot jumpers can you make uh, when you're tired? You've got 10 from the baseline, 10 from the wing, 10 from the top, 10 from the other wing, and 10 from the other baseline. Each one of them is off the move. We are incorporating game-like conditioning because everybody knows in the game that there's minutes upon minutes of running and stoppages and distractions and what have you in between shot attempts. You know, you take a guy like uh, like a Kobe Bryant who takes 20 plus shots a game, well he's playing 42 minutes plus. So that's like two minutes in between every jump shot. So we wanna train our bodies here to be able to move and stay conditioned in between every single attempt so that when you do get that attempt, you're sharp and you're, uh, you're ready to knock it down. So you go, for the 10 from each spot, you got five mid-range, five threes. Okay, one mid-range and then you go to three. Then mid-range and then you go to three. So 50 at once, 50 nice catch and shoot off the move. How many can you make here to end your uh, to end your 250? And this is a great drill here to really give your 250 a good score. We want to keep our conditioning. We want to hold our release in the rim. We don't want to let the fatigue affect us. Kevin special. He's exhausted, he's putting an emphasis on footwork, he's putting an emphasis on fundamentals, squaring his body up and just doing doing it the right way. And I mean that's what separates him from being a guy who made shots down the stretch and being a guy who misses shots down the stretch.
this is a great journal also just in terms of fighting through adversity. I mean, you wonder how a guy becomes a guy who makes big shots in the fourth quarter. I mean, this is it. You learn how to how to play with fatigue. You learn how to make shots with fatigue. You learn how to fight through, you know, a grueling workout to, to make shots at the end. I mean, that's how you make buzzer beaters down the stretch. That's how somebody has confidence to let you shoot buzzer beaters down the stretch. I mean, they know you've been in the gym. They know you've been in the lab putting in the time to be in that situation. And this is just a perfect example of kind of, you know, how to overcome those big moments. That's why we do this test last. That's why this is uh, the last drill of the 250. So you got mid-range, start every cut under the basket, get your feet set, come off, get into your jumper, and then a three. Five mid-range, five threes. Mid-range three, mid-range three. Get your own rebound, we want that conditioning, we want that timing. Get your hands ready to shoot every shot. We take every single rep very seriously at this point in the workout. We wanna finish like a pro, we wanna finish strong. This is about going to the next level, so you've got to train like you're at the next level. So he's on to his, uh, his second last spot here, mid-range three. Always maintaining the same form. You can see him getting a little bit more tired now after each shot, but uh, he's making shots here. He's focused. Um, he's got the same rhythm, the same form, the same technique, and, he's, and Kevin's making shots. And... Uh, as this drill went on, Kevin made more and more and missed less. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a next level player. That's uh, mental toughness. And that's a huge sign of, uh, you know, of ability and, and the ability to focus. So you take your total score here now and you have to understand where you can improve. Part of a game or part of our process is we go back and we watch the tape now and we watch ourselves go through the test and we analyze you know, the mechanics of exactly where we made mistakes, exactly where we died, exactly where we had energy, and then we really make improvements. Okay, so talk to you guys about your scores after and things like that, but it was important today that you got to see exactly where you were at and get an exact idea of what you need to improve. Uh, I thought it was a great workout. He really pushed us hard. As he said, the conditioning was, was really tough. And, and you can tell when, when you're doing skills that usually you can do under, under fatigue, it's, it's a lot harder. So um, I really enjoyed this workout and I'm really going to test myself with this later on. Okay, so now A Game Hoops Guys has partnered a little bit with here with Flagrant Fouls. Flagrant Fouls is an unbelievable website that analyzes everybody's games and abilities across the country and into the U.S. And so now they actually have a way to analyze and really t tell coaches what, what the true skill level of a kid is, right? You see guys running up and down the floor, dunking the ball or whatever, but you put them in a test like this and you get to really see how mentally tough they are. All right, here we are, uh, just finished the 250. Uh, one of the first times really getting a chance to, uh, to run it on some elite high school players and we really saw you know, how effective it was. And uh, A-game hoops together here with flagrant fouls, we put together this, this workout and this special test that uh, is going to be very effective for analyzing kids and really improving the game of basketball in the area. Um, you know, this test has been put together through years and years and years and years of aggressive workouts uh, with multiple pros, ex-NBA players, European pros, national team players, Division One players, and we've come up with you know six or seven drills that are truly effective in not only enhancing your conditioning, which is the most important part, but truly enhancing the skills while you're working on your conditioning. And what's going to set flagrant fouls apart from all the other scouting services is now they're, they're involved now in player development. And this is elite player development because A-game hoops has tried and tested this test. And uh, nobody else is training like this. And um, you can really see where kids are at. Uh, you can really see their character, their mental toughness, uh, and their skills while they're tired. And true trainers work on a progressive manner. They work on progression and building up. So this test is something that we've uh, put together for kids that have been progressing through our workouts. And we use this to analyze their game and their ability every, uh, every couple months. It's great for teams. 
it's great for individuals, and uh, we're excited about this opportunity. Uh, Flager Fowles is, uh, is the leader in scouting services, and A-Game Hoops is working hard to uh, become the leaders in player development.